Welcome to the Data Manager Classroom. My name is Oscar, and today we're going to be talking about how you fell back from DR. Most people understand the failover, uh, but they don't necessarily um, understand the fell back or take it into consideration when they're talking to a disaster recovery service provider. How you fell back is largely going to depend on the type of failure that you've had. Um, if you have some hardware offline which takes your site offline, it could well be that you're using your, your disaster recovery service provider for a few days, um, in which case the changes that occur in between may not necessarily be that many, which means that you may be able to resync once your site is back online. So what if you've had a more significant failure? Uh, take for example a fire or flood. Your server room or your uh, current site may be offline, it may not be accessible, in which case the length of time taken from the moment that you've had to invoke to the moment you try to recover can be quite lengthy, which would mean that there are a lot of changes to replicate back. And that may not be possible to do online, or it could take a long time. In which case, you may need to do a full reseed, um, and it may involve using the same tools that you used originally to revert to your um, disaster recovery service provider. Now, that may take time. It may need to be staggered, and careful planning is going to be required in the same way that it was required when you synced your disaster recovery service provider right in the first place. Okay, so to sum it up, you need to make sure you understand exactly how it is that you fell back to your own premise.